Hello there, it's me, Councillor Steve. Again. Oh, wait. Here, we'll do that. I'm alone here in my office, so it's okay. I'm, I don't need to wear my mask. Although we're talking with each other, we're more than six feet apart right now, so I think we're okay. Two meters for those of you in Canada. It's good to see you all again. It's been a while, and I kind of like having this opportunity to, to come into your houses and wherever you're watching this video and just be part of the cadet family. You know, we always like to start off with a cadet landmark, so I'm going to kind of be at a bit of an attention here. Cadets, what is your motto? Living for Jesus. Cadets, what is your verse? If you love me, you will keep my commandments. John 14, verse 15. Cadets, what is your code? A cadet must be reverent, obedient, compassionate, consecrated, trustworthy, pure, grateful, loyal, industrious, and cheerful. And cadets, what is your pledge? Thankful to God for his gifts to me, I pledge myself to be ready to serve God, my parents, my country, my church, my neighbor, and my corps. And for any of you counselors watching this, what is your mission? Helping boys to grow more Christ-like in all areas of life. You know, I don't know if you're about to start your club meetings again, or if your area, because every state and province seems to be a little different, says you can't meet in groups yet. Or maybe it's your church that says, you know what, it's just not safe to meet as cadets yet. We're going to have to be uh, separate, do something differently. You know, even if we're not getting together, we're still cadets and we, we can still do cadet kind of things. And so I know some of you are getting together for uh, father-son campouts, and so your group can do that. Or maybe you're getting together at a park to be able to play some games outside. Maybe you're doing a service project, cleaning up alongside a road or, or doing something like that outside. Those are all different ways that you can still be cadets at this time. And even for our cadet meetings, we can be do things virtually, whether it's Skype or Zoom, Twitch, or there's a number of other ways that we can get together online. And because the summer is nearing an end, that means it's a new cadet season. And every cadet season, we have a, a different theme. And so you know, we kind of finished off last year's theme, which was prayer based on, Hi God, it's me. And now we're into dive into the word. And our verse this year is based on Psalm 119, verse 162. I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Doesn't that sound good, discovering a great treasure? Maybe you had opportunity to play outside in a lake, at the beach. Maybe you were hiking through woods. Lots of places we can discover treasure. But the Bible has some of the greatest treasures of all. If we dive into the word, the Bible is God's word. If we dive into the word, it's like discovering a great treasure. Every time we read it, we can discover something new. God continues to talk to us and with us through his word. You know, this year, that's our theme, dive into the word. And so I'm going to give you a challenge, both the cadets and the counselors, of really diving into the word this year. And For that, we're going to have some reading plans that we put online and we're going to introduce those and they're going to become live in the first week of September so that the week starting September 6th, that's a Sunday and so the first day of the week, every week we're going to have something for you to read. Now, if you're new to the Bible or you're not a very good reader or you're pretty young, we've got a reading plan for you. It's going to involve one story from the Bible each week. Now, some stories are only part of a chapter, and some stories are a few chapters long, but you can read that during the week. If you have problems reading it, maybe find an older brother or sister or one of your parents or a grandparent, somebody to be able to tell these stories with you, you know, share these stories with you. If you're a better reader than that and you want to read a bit more, we're going to have a reading plan that includes five chapters every week, plus one psalm. So you're going to go through, again, a bunch of stories. First week, it's going to start off in Genesis. And by the end and the end of April, we're going to finish off in Revelation. And we're going to go from the front to the back. And we're going to read five chapters every week. Some big stories in there about how God has been working in the people and, and the whole story of what the Bible can mean for you, too. Now, if you're even a better reader, and 
you need something a bit more challenging, we're going to have an older plan too. And that's going to be two chapters every day. So every week there's going to be 14 chapters that you need to read. Now, some of these chapters will be Psalms, but the rest will be just from books of the Bible. And it's not going to go in the order from the, the front to the back. We've picked a number of different books of the Bible that are really good for you to read. So it's going to start off with Luke. and We're going to you know, start off with Jesus coming. And again, it's going to finish in Revelation. But in between, we're going to do some Acts and some Genesis, some Romans, some Isaiah. And we're going to read a number of books in the Bible, the whole book. Not just the stories in the books, but those whole books from front to back. So stay tuned. There's going to be more coming on that. Now, the other thing, if we're kind of stuck, you know, working at home, doing school at home, maybe some of you still, we've got a new thing that's called cadets at home. And I know that's not the way you want to do cadets, but your counselors can look into this for you if, you, if you're not being able to do cadets. And it comes in a lovely bag like this. Dive into the Word. And inside, it's got a whole package. And the package has a bunch of different things for you to be able to do cadets at home. It's got a pencil. You can write down the answers. It's got a bookmark. If you're reading these books of the Bible in different chapters, you might want a bookmark to remember where you got left off. It's got some Bible lessons. Diving into the word Bible lessons. You can learn all about the books of the, some of the par different parts of the Bible. It's got a bunch of different activities and projects, and crafts that you can do at home. It's got instructions for that. So it's got your own copy of our theme poster. I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Dive into the word. And then it's got a miniature book. This one says Builder at Home. If you're not in the Builder rank, don't worry, we've got ones for Recruit, Pathfinder, and Junior Cadets. So if you're stuck at home this year, we've got an opportunity to do Cadets at Home. If that's something that's interesting you and you don't have options for Cadets, talk to your counselor. See if what they can do and maybe they can order some of those from the office. So that's where we are this year. It's the beginning of a new year. It's going to be an exciting year. We're going to get to read lots, dive into the Word, discover lots of things in the Bible. Once again, if you've got any questions or if you just want to talk, you, know, you can always email us here at info at calvinistcadets.org or give your counselor or head counselor an email, a text, a phone call, write them a letter. Anyway, but let's keep them together this year. Let's keep connected. And let's be cadets together as we dive into the Word. Talk to you next time.